Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are having a really marvelous Monday thus far. And so we'll be taking a look at what is currently going on across the North Atlantic, focusing on the Caribbean. And we're going, uh, we're going to be looking at what uh, models are expected in terms of the rainfall activity and that rainfall increase as we head uh, to later this week. Además, incluiré una breve actualización en español para los países de habla España en la región. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so we're going to be starting out with northern South America as well as parts of the Windward Islands. And so uh, we can see that there is some activity right now across the area, lots of moisture uh, supporting the development of those showers and thunderstorms. Things have been clearing up uh, from that all that activity that developed in the vicinity of Guyana yesterday. But of course, as we head to later today, there is likelihood that there's going to be more of that activity. In the vicinity of uh, the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao, uh, we see a bit of activity, not too much happening right now. Not much in the vicinity of Trinidad either, but take a look at that. Uh, all of that activity coming from the tropical Atlantic extended into parts of the Caribbean, so for Grenada and parts of the Grenadines, it is likely a wet morning with some shower and maybe even some thunderstorm activity there. Some of that could even be spilling into Tobago, resulting in some overcast skies maybe some brief showers as well but as we look at the rest of the caribbean region here we can see that uh going further up into the rest of the lesser antilles there isn't much uh, and we've even got a pocket of dry air some saharan dust that is in the region so that is also helping to uh, suppress the development of anything major at this time so para puerto rico y las islas virgenes las cosas han estado bastante secas y calorosas y y desafortunadamente habrá más de eso más adelante así que por favor mantente hidratado lo mejor posible Okay, and so of course, as we look over into the vicinity of uh, the rest of the region, the Northern Caribbean here, going to Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba, uh, there is some activity developing in the vicinity of Cuba, the most uh, easterly side of the island, uh, but there isn't much seen for uh, the rest of the region, also going to the Bahamas. And uh, heading over into Central America now, we can definitely see that there is quite a bit of activity uh, that is noted over there lots of showers and thunderstorms so uh for portions of the of southernmost guatemala going to el salvador parts of uh, nicaragua honduras also going uh, down into the vicinity of costa rica so we can definitely see all of that convective activity taking place are uh, likely producing lots of heavy uh flooded rains mucha lluvia y tormentas eléctricas en la mayor de los países de américa central en este momento y toda esta activity podría incluso provocar inundaciones así que si eso sucede en su área manténgase a salvo and so guys uh, that is what is happening right now across the region and let's look at what the models have to show in terms of what is expected through today uh, looking at the GFS we can see here that uh, when this map becomes more colorful more rainfall activity is expected so we can see that in portions of the eastern Caribbean things are likely going to remain pretty dry uh, as I said for parts of Puerto Rico the Virgin Islands uh, and most of the lesser Antilles really just Grenada and uh, sections of the Grenadines also for uh, Trinidad and Tobago where some rainfall activity is most possible through today but of course as i said as well we also have that dry air from the saharan dust helping to suppress activity a bit of activity possible over sections of hispaniola jamaica and uh cuba and the bahamas as well so not much rainfall activity expected as of now but of course that could change heading further down into this week looking into the vicinity of central america lots of rainfall also the same story for colombia and venezuela uh, maybe some showers possible for the ABC islands. 
Okay, and so moving on to what the uh, euro has to show here. Euro is somewhat in agreement with this, uh, definitely showing that rainfall activity for Central America, going to Colombia, Venezuela, uh, mostly for parts of uh, Western Guyana, portions of Suriname, and also for French Guiana. And uh, the model is also expecting that rainfall activity for parts of the southern Windward Islands, of course, as I said, looking up into the northern Caribbean, not much activity anticipated. And so, guys, guys as I said earlier, we're also going to be taking a look at uh, what is expected in terms of that system, that rainfall increase rather, heading into later this week. And so we're looking at the GFS simulated infrared satellite. Now, this is what the satellite could appear to be heading into the next couple of days. And there we have the forecast time. And so uh, as we head into Tuesday, go into Wednesday, there we start to see all that rainfall increase across the Caribbean. Notice how things remain dry in the east. And of course, of course, eventually as we head to uh, Friday, we can definitely see here that uh, lots of rainfall activity is expected. And so with persistent rainfall, even for two or three days across a particular area, that is going to be helping to induce some flooding. And especially when those areas of very deep convection marked by those dark reds, blacks, and even those grays uh, being seen within the area, that is where we have the heaviest rainfall as well as the most thunderstorm activity taking place. So uh, very interesting here. Uh, models are consistent about this rainfall increase across the region and so guys of course I'm going to continue to keep you updated on it but of course for now Jamaica, Hispaniola, Cuba as well as the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands you definitely should be on watch for this uh, rainfall increase that is anticipated and so that is pretty much it for this update and I hope that you guys found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weather wise.